to his home here in Nairobi and brings us that exclusive report. As the clock ticks towards the much-awaited NASA petition on the presidential election, all eyes will be on the seven-man judge bench at the Supreme Court. But one person, the president, David Kenani Maraga, the chief justice, will definitely shoulder the burden of that institution. The whole week we've not been able to set his eyes on him or find out what he's up to. We are giving a final try behind these gates. Let's see if we'll be lucky this time. At his home in the serene leafy suburb here in Karen, we find the President of the Supreme Court and Chief Justice David Kenani Maraga seated under a shed. It's not an ordinary Friday for him. He's deeply buried in files as he peruses every single document before him for now. Come Saturday from 7 p.m., the Chief Justice, in his capacity as the President of the Supreme Court, will lead his six other colleagues as they begin hearing the presidential petition number one of 2017, that of Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Musyoka versus IBC, its chairman Wanyonyi Wafula Chebukati and President Uhuru Kenyatta. The seriousness of the big task ahead has seen the CJ just like his colleagues retreat and prepare in seclusion away from the hassle and bustle of his office. Uh, first and foremost, I'm uh, surprised that you would uh, trace me from the office and come here. I was, uh, you are the last people I expected today. It's not a scheduled interview, so it will have to be brief. This is the first presidential petition for the reconstituted bench and the CJ and his team are working overtime to get through the piles of documents that will determine how this case goes. We received this record, especially from the respondents. Uh, mine came in here after midnight. And so we, as I, when I woke up, I, I started on it. And I, I will go on until I'm tired. Then I sleep. And that's not only me. Even my colleagues are doing the same. Uh, and you know, the period is very short. And uh, the amount to be covered is, is enormous. So um, we, we are putting as much as uh, we can humanly. At his veranda, another mountain of documents resting, awaiting his perusal. He has the help of legal assistance from his office, among them a senior counsel. Researchers, too, are on hand to offer this detail or the other. They know that the clock is ticking and fast. There is really nothing other than what the nation expects of us. As the Supreme Court, we are doing our very, very best uh, to come through these records and see the evidence each party has presented before us. And of course, he decided the case on the basis of the evidence before us and the law. And, uh, and uh, that we will do on, on Friday first. Yes, that promise I can give you, we are going to do it. I mean, we don't have a choice. The CJ who is leading a presidential petition for the first time knows this is high stakes case. So is he feeling the pressure? Um, <laughs> I wouldn't call myself an authority in the, in the what, in elections, but I've handled quite a number of uh, electoral disputes, and, and I've been chairing the uh, Judiciary Committee on Elections, preparing for this. Uh, all the judges of the Supreme Court have handled, uh, what, election disputes before, so this is not anything new. But then, of course, there the, are the, the challenges which come, there are some particular facts which, which have come in this petition, which were not there in the, in the previous petition. And, and that is uh, that's how it is. Case, uh, cases are not normally the same. We decide cases on a case-to-case basis on the evidence presented before us. Because of the limited time, the Chief Justice and his legal assistants could not even break for lunch and had to be content with some snacks. From the look of things, it will be many long nights and he says Kenyans should be equally braced themselves for marathon sessions. As legal teams for petitioners and respondents prepare, so are the men and women from the Supreme Court 
who from the look of things will sit in for even longer hours before they deliver that much eagerly awaited verdict on Friday next week. Duncan Hemba, KTN News, Nairobi. All right, so that is the exclusive discussion and conversation that uh, Duncan Hyamba had earlier on today with uh, the Chief Justice uh, David Maraga, just talking about that Herculean task ahead. Now, tomorrow, the stage is set for what is likely to set the pace for the Supreme Petition. The pretrial conference begins at the surprising hour of 7 p.m., and we will be there for you. Our Sophia Wanuna has, however, been following the events there 